Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're in Griffith Park. What does that mean? It means we are at Travel Town. It could also mean that we were also going to the zoo, but no, we're going to Travel Town. Hey guys, how's it going? Sean Allen here. It is time for Travel Town vlog number four. Finally, after a long hiatus of me promising a fourth vlog, it is here at last. Yes. Uh, I am back at Travel Town once again. As you can see, I look a little different than uh, usual. I am actually wearing some engineer attire. I've got an interesting uh, engineer hat, wear some overalls. And uh, the reason why is because uh, I actually volunteer at Travel Town now. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll tell you guys what I'll be doing in just a sec, but right now I gotta find a parking place. Man, I'm not finding any parking places. It is busy today. Oh my gosh. And we're talking on the weekend, right? But, um, let me go around again. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's really crowded today. Gee whiz. Um, and, uh, I might have to park in a different parking lot. Okay, I've been through this parking lot at least three times now, and so far, I haven't found a parking place, so I'm going to park somewhere else. Because that's busy today. Woo! A lot busier than I thought. <laughs> So, in case you're wondering, if you ever come to Travel Town, there is another parking place, right over, or parking lot, right over here, next to this sign right here for the freeways. And um, hopefully, there are some places here for me to park. Um, gosh, even in here, it's kind of limited. Okay, so I'm gonna park and then get right back to you guys. Okay, so now I'm walking into the entrance instead of driving into the entrance. <laughs> So, for those of you who are watching this, you're probably saying to yourselves, well, I'm, on, I'm watching this video on your Travel Town series, so you're saying this is vlog number four. Where are your other three vlogs? I don't see them. Well, guess what? They're on my second channel. I do actually have them shared on my, uh, my <laughs> Disneyland video series, whoops. I meant my Travel Town series channel. If you guys want to check them out, I posted the playlist down below in the description of this video, or check out the annotations that just pop up there on the screen. But yeah, I have three other vlogs that, um, this is before I became the videographer slash volunteer for Travel Town, so it's a nice day today. Oh, I see a couple of hawks up there. I saw two. I thought I saw a third one, but there's some hawks up there. Yep, this is uh, a wildlife area. Griffith Park, you know. They do have coyotes. They do have hawks. They have rabbits. I think I saw a couple of roadrunners one time, and yes, they do, they do actually have a mountain lion up here, so yeah, gotta watch out for him. So believe it or not, during the first three vlogs, I've gone through the main entrance of Travel Town. But guess what? Now that I'm a volunteer, I get to go through the authorized area. I'm not going to show you what's back here because it's kind of cluttered back here. But there's something in here that I do want to show you guys. And it's these wheels. Check out the size of those things. Those are actual train wheels, you guys. There's some more over here. But these in particular are just humongous. And here is the railroad sign right there. Railroad crossing guard. The train's there, so we're clear to cross. Here we go. Alright, so believe it or not, I'm actually in the restoration area here at Travel Town, which is normally off limits to some people, but you guys are getting a very sneak peek, very quick sneak peek, I should say, of what it looks like back here. This is where I bring in all of my gadgets and everything, so that way everything is safe away from guests. Um, here's my GoPro that I use for my videos. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking for a particular back to my GoPro. This is it right here. Um, I also use the screen sometimes if I need to look and see if a shot looks okay. Basically, this is what I do before I start filming my Travel Town videos that I make here for, for the Travel Town YouTube account. So, um, I'm going to switch this around and get this fixed up and ready to go. Alright, there we go. As you can see, I got the, the uh, larger back area for the GoPro so I can stick my screen on here so I can see what I'm doing and um, yeah so let's go film so here we go I'm actually heading to the other side of Travel Town because I've already filmed pretty much everything in this location underneath this gigantic it's not really a hangar but it's more like a, a, a covering for these trains because some of these are really really old some of these date back to the late 1800s but uh, yeah it's a uh, pretty cool back here um, I just recently uploaded a new video for the Pacific Electric Train, so be sure to check that one out. I also uploaded a video about the Union Pacific 2117 video, uh, 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 caboose. <laughs> and here's the Stockton Terminal, did that one as well. I also uploaded a video about this caboose up here, the Western Pacific caboose, and the Richmond oil tank car, which is right over there. 
head to that one as well. So be sure to check them out on the Travel Town Series YouTube account. Um, pretty soon here I'll be doing one for the Western Pacific number 26, the Union Pacific 4439, which is this engine right here. Just be prepared because more videos are coming for the for the trains over here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Now these trains may look ginormous next to me here, but the, they're actually on a they're actually raised up a little bit. <laughs> they're on higher ground. But they are pretty big. They are pretty big engines. I think these are like the smallest out of all the trains they have on display here. Got some cobwebs growing there. <laughs> Not growing, but being created by spiders. It's pretty cool over here. Whoa, <laughs> I almost tripped over that. Here's a Santa Maria Valley. I did a video about that one, or actually, I recorded it, but I haven't posted it yet. Today I'm going to do this one. Alright, so I don't know if you can see that, but this is how I open up a shot. I look up at the sky, and then I pan down to the train, like so. Watch. I do it slowly. Make sure the train's not in the image. And that's my establishing shot of the engine right there. So normally when I make my videos, I will usually get an establishing shot, which I mentioned a couple of minutes ago. Then what I will do is I will get like a shot of the face of the engine, like you see here. And then I will get a picture of this, you know, like a kind of like a 180 picture of this. Then I will go around, check out the wheels, like so, even get a picture of that. Uh, yeah, some of these engines, unfortunately, you cannot enter because, again, some of these are kind of run down. So, luckily, I have a monopod, and I can look inside and see all the different gizmos and things in here. You can't really see. Oh, there it goes. You see a bunch of the gadgets in there. Here's the back end of the locomotive. Well, not technically the locomotive, because the locomotive's back here. Or maybe it's all connected. Actually, no, I take that back. It looks like it's all connected. Yeah. So, anyways, oh wait, no, there's the, no, they're all connected, wow, how about that? So this is basically part of the engine right here, that's interesting. So anyways, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, I figured what engine this is. Sean, when you're, po when you're uh, editing this, uh, put the uh, name of the engine right here on the bottom of the screen. But uh, anyways, it's right next to the gigantic pine tree here. Uh, basically, I do a full 360 around the engine, so that way I make sure I get every little detail. In some of my videos, I mentioned what other trains or cars they're next to, like this engine's in front of the, San the it's actually behind the Santa Maria Valley. Um, but yeah, I think with me filming this engine, you guys, I have filmed every single engine here at Travel Town. Every single one of these engines has been documented on camera. I may not have shown you every single, you know, engine on this video but there are at least maybe 15 different engines here so yeah and I got every single one of them on film they're gonna be all edited into a video and I still need to get these passenger cars um, a couple weeks ago I was able to get inside these because um, normally there are birthdays in here that's right if you guys want to have like a birthday party here you can always reserve one of these passenger cars here at Travel Town that's pretty cool um, so you can actually make it feel like you're inside a, a train having a birthday party. That's pretty neat. Um, this one, actually, you can go inside without having to deal with birthdays, I think. I think that's possible. But um, these first two passenger cars, um, you can reserve them for, 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 eh, for birthdays. I actually remember many years ago, a friend of mine actually had her birthday here. I can't, I, I can't remember which one it was. It was either this one or the one in front. I think it was the one in front. And uh, that was a lot of fun. And... Uh, yeah, it's definitely worth remembering and getting on film. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a little tent right over here. Um, they're basically giving tours of some of the passenger cars, like one of the dining cars, one of the sleeping cars, and uh, like a bar car, basically. Um, if you guys want to take tours here, they have on select days here at Travel Town, um, you know, like... They, they, they give out tours, so if you want to check that out, be sure to check out the official Travel Town website, traveltown.org, for more information about tours and birthday reservations. You know what? I just realized, actually, <laughs> that, that engine is not 
it's not my last engine. I have actually three other engines. I just realized there's some back here that I needed to, to film. Oops. <laughs> Sorry for that little inaccuracy, but uh, don't worry. Practically every single engine has been documented, but uh, still have three more to go. And I probably might be doing those today. All right, so I'm back at the restoration area. I just dropped off my camera and stuff. But uh, right now, um, we're getting close to lunchtime. So yeah, we're gonna have a lunchtime here at Disneyland. Lunchtime at Disneyland. <laughs> I say Disneyland, oh my gosh. I got Disneyland on the brain, you guys, because a lot of things have been happening with my Disneyland video series lately. And uh, <laughs> so if I said Disneyland, I apologize. So I meant to say lunchtime at Travel Town. There we go. So. <laughs> I'm like walking around here and I feel like there's a rock or something in my pants and I look here and yes there is a rock and I graveled it a little bit. Oops, oh there's a hole. Oopsie daisies. Get out of there. <laughs> I'm like there's a rock in my pants. Jeez. So here's our lunch for today. We have the meatloaf. We got mashed potatoes and corn and a biscuit. I don't know if it's a buttermilk biscuit. You know, doing the Shea Carl buttermilk biscuit. You just go, buttermilk biscuit. There you go, I just said it. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Can't put this anywhere, so first bite. All right, so I'm going to try something different this time. I'm going to try getting a shot of the Travel Town Railroad going past this area of the, the track. And uh, I try, I mean, instead of me standing out here, look at this. I've got the monopod set up such that it's sticking out like this. And it will literally look like I'm in an area where I'm not supposed to be. But as you can see, I'm behind the gate <laughs> just waiting for the train to come by. By the way, I apologize for not being able to record a whole lot of the. Um, the uh, lunchtime because uh, there's a lot of people there and you know I do feel comfortable doing mealtime dates on the episodes but some people are not so um, I wasn't told that I couldn't film it but I just felt like yeah you know out of respect for everybody else that worked there I just felt like nah you know I didn't want to disturb anybody so sorry <laughs> I still record my first bite though so yeah now I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous vlog but the train originally it, it looks like yeah it is here but Back in the day, when I used to come here when I was really little, the train tracks usually were right in this area here. They were right here. Yep. In fact, the station, this is the same station, but they used to, the loading dock is still there to this day. It's right over here where they have this little gated area here. Um, that's where they used to have the uh, people get on board the train. It was right there. But now they're on the other side, which is actually the original entrance of Travel Town. The other entrance is right over here so I mean this has been like this for several years but I I remember the original layout of Travel Town sort of but yeah pretty cool I don't know if that speaker still works but that used to be one of the speakers that they used to use back in the old days when the train used to run around here like I mentioned like right here I remember being in this area here when I would wait for the train this area doesn't get used anymore, but as you can see, there's some things in here. It is supposed to look sort of like a train station. Ooh, a safe. Can we crack the code? Ah, rats. Oh well. Alright, well believe it or not you guys, we are heading out of Travel Town. Sorry, this is kind of a short vlog, but um, I was doing a lot of stuff today. But you kind of got a little bit of an idea as to what's going on here at Travel Town. If you have any plans on becoming a member or even a volunteer here at Travel Town, be sure to check them out on the web at TravelTown.org. I place all the links down below in the description of this video. Plus, uh, the train rides, you know, you can try that as well. It's right over here on this other side of this wall. The parking is free. The whole place is free. There's no admission or anything. But uh, the train ride, you have to pay for it. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. See you all next time for possibly another vlog. You never know, who knows? You might make another vlog for uh, Travel Town. All right, take care. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, favor the video, share with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the Travel Town series. Be sure to also check out Travel Town on the web at www.traveltown.org. 
and follow them on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Travel Town Museum Foundation. All the links are down below in the description of this video. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Travel Town series, and we hope to see you again very, very soon. All aboard!